There is nothing easier than creating beautiful presentations using AI. Slides Wizard, the first one, is a reliable tool that needs you to only input a topic. Then based on this topic, it will generate an outline, the text, and even find images. If you want to have more control, there is a drop-down menu with extra options where you can pick a template, a number of slides, the language, and even the target audience. There are five templates to choose from, and basically everything that these templates change is the primary color of your presentation. The max number of slides is 10, which usually is more than enough for a school or a college presentation. In the target audience field, you can just type in university students, no need to write a detailed description and then the AI suggests the outline which you can edit to your liking but generally it's quite all right and doesn't need any modifications as for the presentation itself it's pretty basic in terms of its design what slides wizard does really well is writing the contents for the slides it even managed to draw infographics specifically for this topic also all the images it's selected are on point no mismatches and on the last slide it even includes links to references that it used as information sources. These slides definitely need some fine tuning and styling, but overall, if you don't care about visuals too much, Slides Wizard does the job. Slides Go takes it up a notch. You start by typing in the topic for the presentation, no need for explanations. Then you choose a writing tone, fun, creative, casual, professional, or formal. After that, you pick the language and type in the number of slides. I didn't notice any limitations when it comes to the number of slides. Then you need to pick a style, minimalist, colorful, geometric, or professional. Each style has six options inside of it, and you can mark which one you want. All of these styles look quite good, no complaints here. As for the quality of the presentation, it's really decent. If on any slide you didn't see an image, this means AI didn't find the one it thought would fit well. No worries, you just go to photos and type in what you're looking for in the search bar. Then pick an image and double click on it. If you can't find the appropriate photo, you can always ask AI to generate it for you. For this, go to tools, text to image, Type in your prompt, select the dimensions of the image and the style, then pick the image you like and add it to the project. Another standout feature of Slides Go is the built-in translator. You can choose a page which you want to translate, pick the language and let AI do its magic. All the images you see here in AI generate presentations were taken from free stock websites. Those photographers earn nothing from this, but you can earn from your photos and your skills with Wirestock, today's video sponsor. Wirestock is an amazing platform for photographers where they can sell their photos. Wirestock distributes your content to 15 plus leading marketplaces at the same time, including Adobe Stock, 123RF, Mago, Alamy, and many more. You just upload your photos and Wirestock does the rest. Keywording, writing descriptions, categorization, and all those non-creative things. Then in your personal dashboard, you can see which platform earns you money and how much. But the most interesting part Part of it is its AI tools. First, Wirestock lets you generate AI images. The simple prompts will do. The model used here is really smart and creative. You can also use other creators' themes or create your own. Themes are basically AI styles created by people that can be used to generate new images. And each time someone uses our style, you get paid. Now you can finally commercialize your AI skills. The best part about these AI tools is the speed of generation and the quality of it. They are definitely above average. Then there's also a bunch of Wirestock's own creative challenges that you can participate in, where winners get cash prizes and get featured in their communities and leaderboards. Upgrading a free plan to a paid one, you get more marketplace submissions, image generation credits, and a ton of other perks. Sign up with a code on the screen, get 20% off, and start earning now. Presentations AI is definitely one of the most advanced presentation generators out there. First, can generate the outline for you to review before actually generating the slides. Second, if you're working in the company, it makes it super easy to include logos and other company data into the slides. Each slide has a different design. What's especially interesting about this design is how unusual it is. This is not your typical presentation builder that you saw before. Almost all of the elements you see on the slides are animated. There's not a single slide that looks like the previous one. For each particular slide, you can choose a style style and type as well as change them for the entire presentation. AI automatically adjusts the colors of the text and all the images and graphics for each style you choose 
This way, every presentation will be totally unique. There's also an AI assistant built in, but in my case, it refused to work. Each image can be easily replaced by just typing in the image description in the search tab, after which AI will pick the best option itself. No need for you to browse through hundreds of stock photos. But the best thing, as I already said, is the animations and layers. Here I have a slide with animated graphics in the background. And as I'm clicking through it, the information changes while we're staying on the same slide. Also, check out these transitions from one slide to the next, how each element appears on the screen, all the little arrows and images, how seamlessly it all looks. This definitely isn't your typical presentation builder, that's for sure. It basically creates 90% of the entire presentation. All you have to do is just fix and text or add in new slides. Presentations made by Slidesflow AI aren't that advanced, but they too deserve some attention. This is the only presentation generator in today's list that lets you disable greeting and thank you slides, as well as background images. However, it also limits you to only six slides unless you pay for a subscription. Also, this AI needs you to not only provide the title for the presentation, but also the description of it, where you can type in anything you want from a brief summary to detailed outline the generated slides are really simplistic and don't have much going on. All the images are from Unsplash, which is a free platform, so you don't have to pay for it. It's built in AI writer can improve writing, fix spelling and grammar of each paragraph of text and also make them shorter, simplify the language or summarize them. I'd still say that the way these paragraphs are written, you do still need to write them yourself. Not the best presentation generator, but definitely not the worst. Send steps isn't your ordinary presentation generator. Sure, it does it too, but it also has an ace up its sleeve, which makes it perfect for teachers or anyone who wants to have some interactive elements in their presentations. You start by typing in the idea for the presentation, after which the AI will suggest you a couple titles. Then you pick the language and the tone of voice. Once you're happy with the title, you need to choose the size of the presentation. Then there's this little toggle for interactive questions. Turn it on. The final presentation does look very very simple and generic and it doesn't have a ton of information on the slides themselves, nor does it have any complicated designs. However, under each slide, with text. There are speaker notes, which should make it much easier to present. The way AI selects the images also leaves a lot to be desired and sometimes you would need to pick the images yourself. However, once you're done with your presentation, you can preview it and that's where SendStep gets ahead of the competitors. Let's people connect to you and answer the interactive questions during the presentation. Pitch, on the other hand, focuses on something else, simplicity. It also asks you to describe your presentation in detail, but that's basically everything you can customize. Later on, you can only change the font and color scheme. Statically, it all looks very good, very consistent, but when it comes to the contents of the slides, that's where it may go south. Because some slides have a very strange outline and sometimes this outline just doesn't work that well with text. Also, when you try to add a background image, you have to really fiddle with settings and adjust its blur and color scheme of the slide for the text to be visible. Luckily, replacing the existing photos is as easy as clicking a few buttons and typing in the request. These presentations do look rather simple, but from what I see, the main benefit of this AI is the visual consistency that could be very welcomed for pitch decks or product presentations. That's not the type of presentation builders you would want to use for your college or university project. Infography, well, that's a cool name, isn't a presentation builder, but rather a tool that you would definitely need if you want to create good presentations. You can turn blog posts and websites into infographics, just paste the link, pick the aspect ratio, and hit one button. AI will then read the contents of the web page and come up with a way to turn it all into a piece of graphics that will look well in your project. Presenting the information this way works much better than with plain all text. It improves engagement and makes people want to react more. But that's not the end of it, because alongside blogs, this tool can also create infographics based on a topic AKA idea. I can't vouch for the correctness of the information it gives, but if you're ready to do some additional work yourself, 
This can be a fantastic start for giving your presentations an additional kick. The best part is when you straight up use the piece of content, like an explanation or an instruction. For that, I suggest using the vertical orientation. That's the primary way this AI was trained. The images it generates this way are simply fantastic for not only presentations, but also social media. You can just take this image and put it into your Instagram account, add a couple of stickers, and you've got yourself a perfect piece of content. Content. This may works differently from the rest. And instead of asking you to fill out the form, you can chat with AI. In that chat, you just describe what you want, answer a couple clarifying questions and pick one of the suggested styles. Some of the styles it suggests may not work that well with your topic, especially if the images that would be used are too dark or too light. Yet all slides look different, have different layouts and overall can be turned into something great. The graphics that this AI uses are also quite unusual and stylish, although not always correct. Some slides don't have any text on them, but there is a built-in AI writer that can write you practically anything you want. Basically, this AI creates great blueprints for your presentations, which you can then take and modify as you like. Though I would say this AI definitely needs some more work and to use it effectively right now, you have to really spend time learning the ropes. If you have time, your presentations will look great, but if you don't, better look in another direction. With Slide AI, you can at least count on properly generated text, although a bit too formal. The strange thing about this tool is that it simply refuses to generate presentations about the French Revolution, yet it has zero issues generating slides about AI. The slides themselves are very simple and basic and definitely shouldn't be used as is. However, Slides AI does a pretty good job at writing the contents for each slide. It may not have the design skills, but it definitely has the wits to write. Maybe originally the slides do have some sort of design to them, but since on the website there is no option to preview the presentation before downloading it, I cannot vouch for that. The best part about it is that it's completely free and you don't even have to provide your credit card details to download and generate a presentation, which is pretty convenient and unusual at this point. Also, it counts slides with images as separate slides, so even if you ask it for five slides, it will actually generate 10. For this tool to show its full potential, you would definitely need to do some work yourself, which is not ideal. Smart Slide once again chooses a different path. You start by writing the title for your presentation, then you choose its type, whether it's a pitch deck, a sales report, product demo, or something like that. Then you pick the number of slides and describe your business in detail. At this point, you probably guess the main focus of this presentation builder is on enterprise customers and big companies. Definitely the weirdest part of it all is that it doesn't generate you any meaningful text for the slides. Basically all it does is generate a bunch of slides with the explanation about the type of information that should be included in them. For people who create presentations for their classes, this definitely isn't the right tool to choose. But for people who are just starting their way in corporate America and are still learning the ropes of how a corporate machine works. Having such a template that can be easily modified is definitely worth it. The tool has a built-in AI assistant and can actually generate variations of the same slides, yet I didn't find a meaningful use for it. So if you want your presentations to look great and have beautiful animations, choose presentations.com. AI. If you want interactive presentations for your classes, go for the send steps. Each tool has its own strengths and weaknesses, its own peculiarities. So ultimately the choice of a presentation generator is up to you. And in case you need a text to speech generator, we have a great video about that. So be sure to check it out and see you there.